Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. This is the second setup of GStack Valorant Hot API. In this video, you will learn how to set up GStack for Valorant and how to use the GStack HUD with OBS. Note that you will need to 5v5, which means a total of 10 players to get GStack to work properly. If you want to test it in 1v1, you can check that the data will be tracked in debug tools but will not be automatically transferred to the HUD overlay. Just like the previous video select HUD Profile 2024 and fill up all the data, the video link will be in the description box. Now let's start the video. Make a custom game or join a custom game that contains 10 players. Before starting the match make sure that, from which PC you gonna run GStack, give that ID only one checkbox. And from the PC you gonna do stream or wanna show the gameplay, give that ID two checkbox. I attached a picture, do like this. Now after entering the match make a pause for 5 minutes, you will understand soon why you need to take a pause. I couldn't pause the video cause it was someone's scrim match that I joined for only test. After pausing go to the underside of the map and make sure that your screen is full black. Look video carefully. Now you have to open the scoreboard by pressing the TAB button. By default, the tab button functions in hold mode. We have to change it to toggle mode. Do it from this option by turning on this setting. Now open the scoreboard and place the GStack application like this. Now turn on the live tracker and score. In the agents list you will see that all the agent names are showing up, now click on transfer agents. Now go to the scoreboard you will see this interface. Now, add the player names one by one, just like how it is demonstrated in the video. Note that, sometimes agent names do not show for some issues. But no worries, then you have to select the agents manually. After putting all the names press on set values on both sides. Now go to the browser to check if the API is working or not. Sometimes it will show you directly player names and everything but if it is not showing perfectly then go to the GStack application go to the scoreboard option and press on the set values again. Now you can see that everything is showing perfectly. To set up this API overlay in OBS, follow these steps. Thanks for watching. Join our Discord for more latest updates. If you have still any confusion or questions join our Discord for help.